eight-week hot patch of form. Kick towards Switkowski. And here's Cornelio back into the side. Just squeezes one forward. Hogan oh. straight away. <laughs> Too good. He's the best key forward in the competition. He's got the stutter step going, but the accuracy continues. There's Whitfield. The Hogan direction again. Look at those hands. That is a man chock full of confidence. Has to be 50. Gets enough momentum through it and never looked like missing. He's on fire. Hogan again's got Draper as the matchup, so he likes that. Can they try and isolate him? The kick will head in that direction. He does his body work early, and they could have raffled it, the two big boys. Now they try and get the handball game going. Fremantle onto it, though. Well done, Frederick. Swickowski has Sturt, who just takes a bit of time in the end. The tackle didn't stick. He straightens up, and that's what the Dockers needed. Young's tried to get involved. Clark goes on the left. Fife having a spell at full forward. Thought he might have been pushed. Umpire let them play. Banfield now got it to Fife for another one. They get two in a row. That's what they want from Fife if he's playing forward. So they're on track for 100. There's Kelly. The smooth mover goes looking for Cadman. Well done from Warner. Just did enough. Here's Daniels. Normally so crafty. Outside of the boots. That's what he can do. Had a tough run with injury early in the year. Fife got it moving. Sarong, Frederick, and off turnover. They might punish GWS. Frederick's already got one. And he converts as well. His lowest disposal count in his career against Brisbane is now Amos. Decides to try and do it himself. Oh, the Kevin Bartlett style. Handball out in front. This will be some sort of finish in the end. He lays it to Jackson with a bit of individual brilliance from Jai Amos. He's had at least 25 disposals in every game since round nine. And they work it nicely through Ash. Here's Daniels. Always so clever. This time decides to go alone. Saw the open goal square. Oh, he's playing at a good level. There's Taylor again coming off his man. And will affect the mark from Frederick. Oh, Young. Well, we talk about he hits the pack hard. He's, he's almost got a little bit of blood coming out of the chin there. Ash, whistle it gone. And oh, that's a heavy tackle. Frederick's running. Swickowski will eventually give it to him. They've got numbers everywhere. Sturt can give it over the top to Voss. And Fremantle extend their lead off the back of their pressure. Voss gets his first. Number one forward half team all year. They've been under pressure for a lot of this second term. Bedford is clever. Got it to Green. Normally can create something. That's all he needs. The skipper delivers. Bedford was clever. And now with Whitfield, will kick it to a dangerous spot. Hogan has to sit under it. Cox was disciplined. Toby Green, he's lurking. He decided to go under hands. Hogan read it best. <laughs> and that's the easiest of his 64 goals for the season. <laughs> That's exactly what they do. Tom Green, disposal number 11 already in this third term. Jones with that step. And then what it goes for the finish, oh. Darcy Jones! <laughs> oh, he's a special little talent. So Ash will just kick it again to the top of the square. Cox got over the top. Now an opportunity for ground level. We yeah. thought it'd be the Smalls, but of course it'd be Jesse. He's kicked four again. Brayshaw will get the one-two. He has Banfield on his outside and Amos working forward. He does go to Amos, who has some space. Can think about it. He looked in board, then decided to go for home and do it himself. Great transition from the Dockers. They need to get a bit of scoreboard nourishment for their efforts. And they are out by nine. Cornelio wins another centre clearance. Dockers have to defend. Daniels, look at him go. Oh, he's in some sort of form. <laughs> He is flying. Fife wants to rip it away from Cornelio. He eventually did. It sp spills out to Sharp. Can they get a quick response? It'll get to the back. It might go all the way. They got a bit lucky, but they'll take it, the Dockers. It was a good play. Well done, Himmelberg. Worried Frederick out of it. And this man, Daniels, has been dominant. Finds Green. 
Hogan wants it deep. Instead, he goes short to Toby Green. Good ball movement. Not much they can do about that. So, Toby Green. It was a crucial goal just before half time. He is a man for the big moments. He thrives in this situation. And he had a hand free. Yeah. So, we can see where the umpire is coming from. Sarong just going to lay it to the point oh. of the square. Sturt he over did. the top. Brayshaw, disposal number 35. There's O'Driscoll straight into the action. And it might lead to a score. It was a good handball for Young to find Voss. It's a good option too. He always makes things happen. He senses an opportunity for Hogan. And again, just a core phone box movement, Louis. You played with him. Nearly I was... Oh. Not too sure whether that was an improvement. 34 years of age. No problem. Back out the 10. Sturt works him under it, flicks out the handball. Banfield lays it off to Frederick. Maybe that was the better option. He missed one earlier, did Banfield. So he gave it to Slick Rick, who's kicked three. Whitfield. Hogan again. See something he likes. It's Hogan running Cox ragged in this fourth quarter. Is that 50? Oh, he's going to call it, is he? Yes, he, he is. He is paid a 50 metre penalty. Oh, he's been enormous, Jesse Hogan. And he might just be the difference once again. They've competed really hard. It's been a great game of football. Ebbed and flowed. And that is sweet. Seven on the trot for the Giants. They continue to roll in season 2024. Join Kane Corns and myself, Riley Beveridge, for the round so far, where we bring you all of the results and break down the weekend's events. All the biggest winners and losers and what it means for them and the competition. Join us first thing Sunday mornings all season long for the round so far.